Well, hello everyone and welcome, welcome back. I am so glad that you are here today. And in today's upload and tutorial, I'm gonna to try to teach you guys how to make a simple melody inside of LMMS. And we're gonna be using nothing but LMMS instruments and VSTs, nothing from the outside. Now, if this is something that you might like, something that you might be interested in, stay tuned and do not go away. Well, thank you again for tuning in today. And I know that I announced last week that I was going to give away a pair of headset uh, to anybody that made a comment in the comment section below. So today I am going to announce that winner. And the winner is Koopa or Copa. Uh, you just won a pair of headsets, absolutely free. All right, so all I need from you, Copa, is to comment again in the uh, comment section below and give me your email so that way you and I can talk and I could get your address so I could ship this uh, pair of headsets to you as soon as possible. So if you want to win something, uh, just stay tuned until the end of the video. I might be giving away another pair of headset again this week. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so I opened this uh, Breathy Ah uh, inside of LMMS. So uh, this is part of the collection right here in the synth as sub effects. So to go there, what you do is you go right here to my preset and um, you go to synth as sub effects, open it up and then you go to collection. Then you come all the way down and you start looking for that stuff. Okay. I can't remember exactly where it is, but I know that it's right here. Uh, now the pop snare, and the trim is also from that collection. Now the pop snare, I went into right here, my samples. And I went into drum synth, opened that up, and then I went down to R&B. And in R&B, I got the pop snare. That's the one right down here. And then the hat rattle, um, I think it's the one here as well, right here. And I chose the S pitch DS. Let's find out. Um, and I think that's this one right here as well. That's the uh, snare. And then I chose the old kick from right here as well. All right. And then I went down some more and I added some other sounds that are part of LMS as well. And I think I went into miscellaneous effects or electro. I can't remember which one I went in there and I found these different sounds as well. And then inside the collection, I used the xylophone, all right? So it's time to start making a beat. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to learn a scale and then just get married to that scale. Just learn that scale and practice that one scale and then from there, you're going to start, you know, learning other scale and getting even more versatile with your beat making. So what I do is I go right here and I go in here where it says no scale before. And then I go down to where it says minor and minor is all the way down here. So I click on minor. I go to the A, I right click and then go to my current scale. So as you can see, it's all the white notes, nothing but the white notes. Okay. So what's the cool thing about the white notes? So let's go down over here to where it says xylophone. All right. So if you click here, all the scales mark. Now, if you go to your keyboard and you click on the letter Y, that's the A. Then the letter U is B. The letter I is C. The letter O is D. The letter P is E. Then the bracket sign, the first one is F, and after that will be the letter G. All right, so that's the whole entire scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right on your keyboard. So you could start making music on your own, on your very own computer keyboard. And 
and you can start creating chords. Then when you go backwards from the Y, so then you go down the scale. G, F. So you go G, F, E. So the E of your computer would be the actual E, then D and C. Okay, and then you go back up again. Okay, so then you can start creating your own chords right here. So then, you know, if you do the circle of fifth, so that will be A, then we go down to E. Then you can start creating whatever you want. Okay, and then you go from the letter Q all the way to the last bracket. So I'll be C all the way up to over here, which is G. Okay, and you can start creating whatever you want in there. All right, so now that you know how to do this, we're gonna go in here into the breathy. Okay, we're gonna double click and we're gonna do something simple. So we're going to bring this all the way down and we're going to do this again and this again. All right. So if you remember, I always talked about or I teach you guys in one of my courses uh, that you can just do the skip one, which is the first, the third and the fifth note on the scale. So first, third and fifth. So how do I know? It'll be one, two, three, four and five. So it's just a skip one. So now we're going to do the letter E, E, skip one, and then skip another. And this is going to be our chord progression right now. So we're going to copy this over here, copy, bring it right here, paste it. Now let's take a listen to this. Nice, simple, nice, nice and simple. So now we're going to go into this pop here and we're going to put one on the third here and we're going to put another one over here and then what i did to this one is i added the um calf reverb to that and this one right here what i did is i put it i believe right here at the beginning no i put it right yeah i put it right there then this uh, pitch, I did the uh, the regular thing that they always do uh, in the trap music. Okay, so if you want to hear it right now, let's hear it really quick. Okay, so you hear that a lot in trap. Now for the kick, I kept it very simple. All right, so I just put the kick on the one here. And then I added a kick right in the middle over here. So remember, if you, to start making kicks, what you do is you always put it on the first. Then from there, you could just start adding the kick anywhere and half the time it'll sound okay. Um, all right, and then over here, um, I think I put that one here like that. So I'm going to have to move the other one. Then over here is another sound. I put the sound over here and over here. And, and that's what you can do to create a, um, a beat. You don't need to go too crazy with this thing. This one here, what I did was I extended this other way here. All right. And, um, this is the one here I think is the one that I need to change I'm not sure Let's see if I remember I think it's this one here this one I'm gonna keep it right there actually I'm gonna put it at the beginning here let's hear it see if it sounds good so as you can see I mean that's not really much it's just the chord progression and then I added some weird sounds to make it sound a little bit more interesting that's about it I haven't even added the melody yet so let's take a listen to this And that's what you have to do sometimes. It's just 
you find some nice sounds that you like, then you add it to your beat and it makes it a little bit, sound a little bit more interesting because it has different textures to it. It's not just the melody to it. And right now, as you can hear, I have no melody. All I have is a chord progression going on in here. And then just to show you, with this here, remember that I was talking about the, uh, the letters on the keyboard, the Y. So you can start messing around and see if you hear anything that you might like. And it's like, because all of these letters are within the scale, no matter what you do, half the time it's just gonna sound good. And what I'm doing right here, if you see, I'm breaking down the chord. So the chord would be this. So I broke it down and make a sound, watch. Anyways, I'm done vibing with this thing. So then what you can do here is you could just start creating whatever melody you want. So what you should do is just listen to your chord and then just start messing around and then create something. Let's hear it. All right, again, if, if you can tell, this is the same chord, A, C, and E, all right? And all I did was that I broke it and I took it apart, okay? Then we could just take this whole thing, boom, copy it, paste it, hit Control, hold it, arrow to the right, and there we are. And then we could take this one, bring it down to the letter E, And then to make it sound a little interesting, we could take this one, cut it in half. Let's bring this up here. Let's do this. There you go. Now you have a melody that goes together with the beat that you have going on in here. And it's that simple, guys. It's, it's really not that complicated. Okay, you just take the same chord that you already had at the beginning and you just broke it into little pieces. So here we go. The letter E, skip one. The letter G, skip one. The letter B over here. And then I just took this one and I chopped it up a little bit just to make it sound a little bit interesting here at the end. And that's how you go about just creating your own thing. And just remember, right now, you could just start creating whatever you want in your own computer. You don't need a keyboard. Because right now, the, letter, the letters from Q all the way to the last bracket is just the whole entire scale right there. And you could just start creating whatever you like right inside of LMMS using your very own computer, just using the keyboard on your computer. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening today. And I hope again that you learned something new. And I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial. And stay tuned because you never know when I'm going to give away another pair of headsets. Take care.